Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 3 Theory and Prediction for the season finale. And today, I finally figured out how and why Kanan will have a change of heart in this season finale and ends up killing Ronnie and turning his back on Snaps and Pop. And that change of heart will take place after a huge life-changing encounter, possibly a little violent, with his uncle Marvin as they both seek out the whereabouts of an assumed kidnapped jukebox. Now this encounter with his uncle Marvin will be what Kanan needs to at least temporarily squash things with his mother rock as they deal with what Marvin always said matters most, family. This video is gonna be yet another banger, so go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so y'all can get this fire every day. And since you know you love this content, you can support this channel by sending a donation to the Cash App, jpeterson91, or blessing your brother with a super thanks right above the comment section in your phones. Thanks in advance. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, y'all. Let's break it down like this. As we head towards the grand finale of Raising Canaan Season 3, one thing we all know for sure is it's about to go down. And some crazy and even some unforeseen events are bound to happen before episode 10 is over and done with. One of the craziest possibilities being, what if Unique surprises us all and makes his return as Breeze before the ending credits? Although that particular idea is based off of almost all hypotheticals. When it comes to Rock and Marvin going to war with Snaps, Pop, and Ronnie, with Kanan caught up in the middle of it all, I can't help but notice that there could be one more chance to keep the entire Thomas family safe, not including the police, right? At this time, it will be up to the purest gangster on the South Side, Kanan's Uncle Marvin, to be the spark that leads to his whole family coming out as the winners in the end. There's a lot on the line, multiple lives in the balance, snaps and pop calling shots behind the scenes, and Ronnie Myers running around saying fuck rock every five minutes. But going along with the theme of Marvin's arc this season, which sees him playing the good Samaritan to Gerald, Uncle Marvin to his children, being the best father that he could possibly be for Jukebox and Rock's trusted right-hand man and enforcer. We can expect Marvin Thomas to be fearless and a beacon of hope to all of his loved ones right where his family needs him the most. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for, the accumulation of all Marvin's hard work and progression. And so here's the basis for my theory. Two days ago, I released a video about the possibility of Jukebox being kidnapped by Snaps and Pop. And Kanan could be in on it or find himself being a victim of Snaps and Pops as well during that episode. Now, for us to get the best out of this theory, we need two things to happen earlier in this episode first. The first thing being Ronnie or one of Snaps and Pop goons shooting up Rock's truck. The second that needs to happen is Jukebox getting kidnapped, leaving Marvin in a manic state, the likes of which we have never seen, as we still see him doing his breathing exercises as he tries to keep his composure and not go off the deep end. But it will be extremely difficult. His only child, missing and in danger over things she has nothing to do with. Marvin will see blood and will want to spill blood and a lot of blood. But through it all, he will still believe in the power of family, leading him to find Canaan. There's a million different ways the writers could have him run into Canaan, so we're not going to dwell on that. But when it comes to Canaan, we can probably expect him to not even know Jukebox had been kidnapped in the first place, leading him to feel like what he'd been acting like all season. 
like a damn sucker. We seen Marvin and Kanan have only two scenes together this season. Both scenes had Rock there, with Marvin offended by Kanan's treatment of his mother. That must not be a coincidence. So when Marvin has this talk with Kanan, first, Kanan will feel deep regret behind Jukebox being kidnapped because of him, because it will be his fault. And it may be Marvin who breaks the news to him about this. Even though they're currently at odds, that's his big sister, and he still will never tolerate anyone doing anything to her. And after the revelation of Jukebox's disappearance, we will see Marvin tell Kanan some of the realest grown man shit Kanan had ever heard in regards to never giving up on family and keeping your family safe. Marvin will be and remain true to his character. Make no mistake, Marvin is the masculine leader and the patriarch of the Thomas family and always had been. He is the backbone and the nucleus of his family. So when he sits down with Kanan in a scene that will likely resemble the diner scene between Franklin Saint and Uncle Jerome, we will see Marvin finally be the one to make Kanan see the error of his foolish, immature ways and dangerous ways. Marvin will tell him, that's your mother, nigga. She raised you even when you had nobody else. She ain't perfect, but she loves you. And how dare you, as a young man, put your personal feelings in front of this family. It will be the first real time that Kanan been checked by somebody who can check him. Kanan always respected his Uncle Marvin. This lecture will make Kanan realize he doesn't even have to forgive his mother fully yet. They indeed have a lot to talk about. Just like she said in episode one. But he still owes his family loyalty and protection. And don't get it fucked up. He does still love Rock. And this will ultimately lead to Kanan turning his back on Ronnie. Killing him. And Snaps and Pop getting killed in the mix. Or I believe if anyone survives this, it will be Pop who then could be a major problem for Rock in the next season, right? And thus doing his part to make sure the Thomas family survives this entire ordeal. And of course, we have to thank Marvin for that. Because like he said all the way back in season one, Y'all remember what he said? Never give up on family. 